हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज़ प्राजक्ता ठगे आई एम फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ जोलॉजी के टी कॉलेज नाशिक टुडे आई विल बी टेकिंग अ क्लास फॉर एस वाई सेमेस्टर फोर सब्जेक्ट इज एनिमल डाइवर्सिटी फोर एंड द चैप्टर दैट वी आर गोइंग टू सी टुडे इज इंट्रोडक्शन टू क्लास रेप्टीलियम द टॉपिक दैट वी आर डीलिंग विथ is silent features of class reptilia and this is the first uh, lecture of this particular chapter so let's begin with what are reptiles first now reptilia uh, is the first class of vertebrate that is fully adapted for land the word reptilia is derived from latin word repere or reptum means to creep or crawl there are no distinguishing features that separate reptiles from other classes of vertebrates their characters are combination of pisces and amphibians on one side whereas apes and mammals on the other side reptiles are the first class which is fully adapted for terrestrial respiration so they completely respire by means of their lungs only whereas when we saw amphibians amphibians were their larval stages were respiring by means of gills their uh, their adult stages were respiring by means of the lungs and their major respiratory structure was also the skin but here lung is the main respiratory structure present in these organisms and they have been totally adapted for terrestrial respiration now let's begin with the silent features of these animals now they are mostly terrestrial and they are creeping or burrowing forms now being mostly terrestrial means uh, some of them uh, you will find them in water also water bodies also like uh, crocodile is there turtle is there tortoise is there alligators are there so these organism even if you find them in water bodies they will respire only by means of their lungs okay and most of the other ones are going to be the terrestrial ones like snakes are there lizards are there all of them are going to be the terrestrial organisms <coughs> if you see all of them are going to be the creeping or uh, creeping forms like they crawl on the land and they ma many of them are the burrowing forms also like snakes now uh, the body in these organism is bilaterally symmetrical okay and uh, it has been divided into four parts the four parts are going to be head neck trunk and the tail now uh these uh, organisms bear a uh, exoskeleton which is very much hard okay which is very dry and cornified okay now it is mostly composed of the horny epidermal scales uh there will be presence of shield now scales will be present uh, in case of the snakes shields uh, will be present shields and plates will be present in case of the tort uh, tortoises and turtle okay now they have two pair of limbs which make them the tetrapods okay and the limbs are going to be pentadactyl which means that each limb has five digits present in it there in most of these organisms now snakes are going to be limbless right but the ones which have the limbs present in them the digits are going to have horny claws the claws will be present in these organisms all the digits are going to bear the claws as already mentioned the limbs are all absent in some of the snakes and in some uh, lizards there are certain lizards which are going to lack the limbs endoskeleton is bony okay now the skull is monocondylar what do you understand by the term monocondylar is that it has only one single occipital condyle occipital condyle is the one which is going to fit or which is going to be the area which is going to fit 
properly with the first vertebra okay so the connection or the uh, connection of the vertebra first vertebra with the skull is going to be through the occipital condyle okay and the vertebrae in these organisms are gastrocentric vertebrae now uh, when we talk about the digestive system the digestive system in these organisms is complete okay and uh, it has complete with elementary canal terminating in the cloacal aperture the cloacal aperture means a single opening from urine for urinogenital structure so it is a common opening for urinogenital or it is a common urinogenital opening and the mouth is going to be terminal T terminal as in it is going to be at the extreme one end of the body the teeth that are present in the jaws are going to be simple conical kind of teeth now uh, the teeth may not be present in all the organisms like in case of turtles the teeth are replaced by horny beaks now these beaks are very very strong beaks okay um, so teeth are replaced uh, in turtles and tortoise heart in these organisms is three chambered except for the crocodile crocodile bears four chambered now sinus venosus in these organism uh, which is the part of the heart is reduced there are two systemic arches present and rbc's are going to be oval and nucleated these organisms are poikilothermic or cold blooded organisms now what are cold blooded organisms and these are the organisms which are not able to maintain their internal homeostasis according to the external temperature this air breathing forms as i have already mentioned the uh, respiration is majoritarily through the lungs or the major respiratory organ is going to be lung and it is going to be throughout the life okay as soon as the egg hatches and the young one is born right from that particular stage it is going to respire by means of their lungs now the kidneys are going to be metanephric and the excretion is uricotelic now what do you understand by uricotelic excretion it means that excretion or the excreta is uh, mostly in the form of uric acid and usually through urine okay so this is what is the meaning of uricotelic next one is their cerebrum is well developed as compared to the amphibian so the brain is also well developed and uh, the main part that is very well developed is cerebrum they have 12 pair of cranial nerves the cranial nerves are the nerves that originate from the cranial part that is why they are referred to as the cranial nerves okay now so the next character in these organisms is that they have a specialized organ called as Jacobson's organ which is also referred to as vomeronasal organ it is an organ of chemoreception uh, that is a part of olfactory system which is which basically gives the sense of smell to these organisms now how does this org uh, organ work so basically the see if you have seen the snakes uh, they constantly uh, remove the tongue out outside to sense the external environment so basically what they are doing is the odor particles if there are present in the external environment or say air they get attached to the tongue okay now once they get attached to the tongue you have this jacobson's organ which is located at the roof of the mouth or at the roof of the buccal cavity they stick their tongue they take in their tongue and they stick their tongue exactly uh, where the, the jacobson's organ is located thus passing the signal or passing those collected uh, odor particles to the jacobson's organ 
and once the Jacobson's organ receives it, it is going to detect the whatever odor particles, uh, whatever odor is there outside will be detected by this Jacobson's organ. Now, when we talk about these organs, uh, organisms, now when we talk about these organisms, the sexes are going to be separate in these organisms. <coughs> now, when we talk about these organisms, the sexes are going to be separate in these organisms. That is, male and female are going to be different. Males are usually going to have a muscular copulatory organ and the fertilization in these organisms is going to be internal fertilization which occurs inside the body of the female. The organisms is in reptilia are mostly oviparous meaning egg laying organism. The eggs are going to be large heavily yolk laden there is going to be large amount of yolk present so the development that is going to occur is going to be uh, divisions uh, that are going to occur are going to be meroblastic type of uh, divisions uh, which okay. is covered by leathery shell now extra embryonic membranes like amnion chorion yolk sac and allantois are present during the development. Metamorphosis will be totally absent in these organisms. They exactly resemble the adult ones. The young ones are going to exactly resemble the adults. Now the best examples of this reptilia are Chilon, uh, then you have uh, Calotus, you have Hemidactylus which is wall lizard, you have Chilon which is green turtle, then you have Calotus, the garden lizard, you have Tyres which is a rat snake, you have Crocodilus which is a freshwater crocodile, then you have Cobra which is scientific whose scientific name is Naja and Gavialis or Gharial. So this was all about today's lecture and this was all about the silent features of the reptilia. And thank you so much for listening to the lecture. Thank you.